have the bubbling clean air. I spend most of my time in the lab. I really genuinely enjoy doing research. Being able to do undergraduate research was one of the things that pulled me into UNCW. They teach you everything in class, but doing it hands-on is a whole nother level. I knew from a very early age that I liked science because I like trying to figure out things that don't have answers yet. I'm in the Honors College and they really promote this program called the FIRE program, which is the first year research experience. They pair you with a professor. I'm working with Dr. Poulin. I'd already toured CMS, the Center for Marine Science, which is where we do our research. He sat me down and was like, what project do you want to do? You get to pick. We're studying phytoplankton. They produce what are called allelochemicals, which is how they communicate with each other, protect themselves. They are a huge part of the food web. Anything that affects them will impact the ocean greatly. It's a really nice opportunity for students, especially from North Carolina, to connect to their environment. We are right on the intercoastal waterway, which is really nice. A lot of our research that we're doing right now is with plankton that is locally sourced from North Carolina. So we are able to look at the impacts at our local ecosystems. went down to the beach and we just picked up plastic on the beach. Lids to to-go containers, we've got forks and spoons here. We have pieces of the shovels of toys for the kids, zip ties. We grind them up and then we resuspend those in natural seawater. And this is what we'll use to add to the phytoplankton when they grow. Is plastic causing changes and if so, how? We are finding all of this plastic in our organisms at all different trophic levels, from microplankton like I work with, all the way up to whales. All of those things add up, and we only have one Earth, we only have one ocean, and the ocean is so vital to everything. Being able to be in lab really helped me correlate my book learning to what I will actually do in real life. Being able to feel prepared going into whenever I get my secondary education, be that a master's or a postdoc, knowing that I have lab experience in my back pocket means that I'll feel more prepared. We're able to help shape the way that they think through the scientific process, and it breaks that barrier between students and research much earlier. Until you actually see it happen, you don't really get to see the magic of science.